In today's video, we're going to be talking about the full moon we're having in Libra on April 7th, 2020. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure that you subscribe before you leave, that way you'll never miss out on another video. Okay, in today's video, we're going to be talking about five things you need to know about this full moon that we're having on April 7th, 2020. This is going to be not only a full moon in Libra, but it's a full super moon as well as a pink moon. So there's a lot going to be going on with this moon. I feel like we should talk about the things that are coming, the energies that this full moon is bringing and all of that stuff. So with all of this chaos going on right now and everything that's just changing, lifestyles are changing, then we have a new normal right now. So I was really curious to see how astrologically we're going to be affected by this full moon. And so let's just jump right in. The first thing we should know about this Libra full moon, which is also a super moon, is that balance is going to be at the forefront of our minds. So you're going to notice that you may feel this need for harmony and balance in your life a lot more. Um, not just generally you want to feel that, but I feel like a lot of us are going to go inwards and realize that we want balance and harmony in specific areas of our life. Um, maybe that we didn't have it there before, or maybe that we have, we struggle to find peace and balance in those areas of our life. And now we are kind of jumping on it. Now we're just like, okay, you know, I need to take care of this. I need to find inner peace and harmony and balance in this area of my life. You'll feel the need to have balance in your home life, in your family life, your personal spiritual growth, um, you know, taking care of your house, um, just every aspect and, and area of your life you want to have balanced out so that not just one area is draining all of your energy. You're not just focused on your family and just drained of energy uh, or not just focused on your work and it just drains all your energy. Um, this full moon is bringing to your awareness where your energies were being the most drained and how you can take back some of your energy and kind of disperse it evenly so you feel peace and balance within yourself. Not only that, but it's also gonna help balance your divine feminine aspect and the divine masculine aspect within yourself too. So remember, whether you're a man or a woman, every person has a feminine aspect and a masculine aspect within them. Um, masculine energy is very fiery energy. It's very protective energy, provider type of mentality. And then we have the divine feminine, which is more flow energy, gentle and kindness and nurturing. It's more of a softer and kinder energy. So we need to balance both of these aspects within ourselves. Sometimes we can get too fiery. Sometimes we can get too soft and too gentle. And right now is a time where we are really balancing those aspects of ourselves. We, we are seeing ourselves being tested um, with everything that's going on. And we're learning where we need to bring out our masculine energy and where we need to bring out our feminine energy. We are learning that right now. The second thing we should know is that a lot of us are going to be feeling like we are re-evaluating our relationships, our lifestyle, our career, you know, our priorities. Remember that this full moon is in Libra. So Libras are the zodiac that will look at every detail, will want to understand every side of something, will want to just see every perspective of a situation or a person or anything, an idea, a belief, anything. It just likes to see all sides. You may be finding yourself around this time looking at your own life from so many different new perspectives and then kind of nitpicking what you want to keep, what is taking priority, what is important and what is not important, what is causing you to drain your energy, what is making you not happy. You know, you're really going and like picking out the weeds and just really cleaning out um, your spiritual self, you know, your, your home life. It's a lot of just plucking things out that don't belong there anymore. The third thing that we should know about this super moon is full moons uh, tend to bring things up and out to the surface. Uh, it illuminates. So it illuminates the negative aspects of ourselves that are, you know, just don't belong there anymore, that are keeping us in a low vibration while we are moving forward and trying to raise our vibration. So it needs to eliminate and purge those things out. Um, so what happens is sometimes things get illuminated that 
maybe you have not dealt with, maybe you have not healed, um, you know, you kind of just turned a blind eye to, or you're just afraid of facing. But this specific supermoon is in Libra. And so what this is going to illuminate is how you show up in the world. Um, you're really gonna get to become more aware of how you're presenting yourself to you know, the universe and how you come across and the energies that you are emitting and how that's affecting the things that you are bringing into your reality, the things that you are manifesting. There's going to be a lot of truth and revelation and awareness and just awakening happening around this supermoon. Right now is a huge time for self-reflection and you're going to notice a lot of people that you're going to be engaging with around this supermoon is going to be very deep conversations. You know, people are realizing a lot, having epiphanies and realizing what actually is priority, what is actually important in their lives versus how they were living before. There's a lot of uh, realizations and awakenings happening to how life was being lived before and this, all of these changes are just awakening a lot of people. A lot of people are, are redirecting their energies now into the areas of their life that is actually important and they get to see it now. They get to see the areas of their life that are important to them and the ones that they were neglecting before. So a lot of reflecting and redirecting energy is going to be going on around this supermoon. The fourth thing we should know about this supermoon in Libra is that you're gonna start to see a lot of cooperation and partnerships. So I know right now everything you see in the media and the news is just crazy and people are getting you know insane and hoarding and panicking. That's all we see. Um, but there is another side of this where people are coming together. Now Libra is the zodiac sign of cooperation, of partnerships, of coming together, working together. Um, so that's a lot of the energy that is going to be out there around this super moon, around this full moon time. But I feel like we're not going to be shown this energy from like media and stuff. Um, but it is out there and you're going to be seeing a lot of it is where people are going to come together, especially in little communities. The communities are going to start to work together to um, see how they can help their community through this, you know, whatever's going on, all of this pandemic and everything. There's going to be a lot of harmony. There's going to be a lot of like um, finding ways to help other people that can't help themselves right now. Um, there's also might be like maybe you cook some food and then you give it to your neighbor or something. Um, just a lot of helping each other out, but in ways of course that are safe. we are seeing a lot of people um, just working together and coming, you know, communicating better and seeing how they can help and which way they can help. Now this has to do with the people that are stuck at home. These, this has to do with the people that are quarantining. These are people that are in the medical field. These are people in the grocery stores. It's everybody that's somehow coming together. Even though we have six feet social distancing rules, even though we have these rules that we can't leave our house um, to do this and this and this, uh, it's like people are coming together to find new ways to not only be safe but also help others so i feel like this is going to be a really eye-opening thing that we get to see too you know amidst the chaos we're also going to see this side of things and the fifth thing we should know is that every full moon um certain parts of our bodies will get extra sensitive because these chakras get affected so in this full moon it's going to be our sacral chakra which is right between our genitals and our navel and then the root chakra which, which is like around there by the genitals so those two chakras are going to be affected, they're going to be extra sensitive, and this makes a lot of sense because everything that's going on, people are stuck at home and people are quarantined or people are just really focusing on their family and home life, you know? That's the first thing that people are thinking about right now. Um, survival, stability, these are all things that have to do and that, govern, that are governed by your root chakra. It's financial security, how stable you feel, how safe you feel, um, how financially secure you feel, how safe you feel with your family. All of these things are governed by the root chakra. And then we have our sacral chakra, which is where our reproduction comes in, our creativity comes in, the joy for life comes in, which I feel like a lot of people have been forced to step back right now, which means that work, 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 that go, go, go lifestyle is kind of 
put on hold. So a lot of people had to slow down. Like there's a lot of that energy of pause and slow down. And that kind of energy allows you to reflect and redirect your energy and get mental clarity, which in turn gives birth to joy. So these areas are going to be extra sensitive around this time. So yeah, these are five things you should know about this upcoming full moon that we're having in Libra. I am a Libra, so I'm actually very curious to see what is going to be happening around this full moon. I also suggest because it is going to be very, very intense energy, um, which means full moons amplify energy. It brings out the negative, right? So that's also going to be happening is a lot of the negativity is going to be coming out to the surface of the world. So it's always a good idea to cleanse your energy, you know, burn sage in your house, you know, wear protective crystals. I, I wear moonstone all the time. Um, it's, I just feel like it's benefited me so much in calming my masculine energy where I would just, just ego would just take over. Um, and this has helped me a lot. Uh, you could also wear black crystals, you know, just cleanse your energy with everything that's going on too, especially during this full moon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll talk to you real soon.